Thanks so much, Katie. Mark, this is your first year in uh, with One America, new leadership role. Tell us about how year one is going, but more importantly, tell us about what drew you to One America. Sounds great. Well, first of all, again, thanks for the opportunity. It's great to be here. You know, it's uh, it's been quite a year, right? Um, dealing with the tail end of COVID and maybe the beginning of a, a new world out there. But, you know, as with any company, my first year here, you always look to why did you change? Certainly, you know, you look for amazing organizations with great financial strength. Um, I love the mutuality uh, structure of the organization. And I think at the end of the day, you look at it and say, we've just come through this really disruptive time. And I think about the people and the relationships uh, that One America has. And that is really what drew me, I think, to the organization. And, and frankly, how they emerge out of uh, these things in a great financial risk. I mean, they've been making decisions for the long term, and that's really important in my book. So that's really probably the main reason, frankly. Well, I mean, there's no doubt One America has, you know, great reputation uh, within independent distribution, extremely well-known, well-positioned. But, you know, you mentioned the word disruption. So let's apply the word disruption to distribution. So what is the vision for distribution moving forward, given, you know, what, we, what we're hopefully coming off of? Yeah, no, it's a great question, I think. Well, first of all, you have to say, you know, you got to double down on the strengths of the organization. They've been very successful up to this point. Uh, and even through these times, like all companies have been, they've really, you know, the demand is up. But when I when I look at distribution and what excites me, first of all, it's, it's really building out our team. I think we're really positioned for continued growth. Uh, we have strong teams across all the lines of businesses that I'm responsible for. And even bringing new leadership to the company and bringing new roles and new talent, I think will be a few things that will really drive the organization uh, forward. Well, what about, you know, we look at the X factor. I mean, there's no doubt where One America long-term care goes, you know, the market follows. There's, that's established. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a credit to the organization, but, you know, what is the differen differentiator for One America? Yeah, well, I mean, care, obviously, our care solutions distribution channel is a differentiator. I mean, it's a unique product in the marketplace, and we have a very strong position. So don't make, make no mistake about it. We're going to continue to to go after and be as innovative as we can in that business, even in this environment uh, that we're in. And I think you'll see us going to places maybe we're not today in distribution, but most importantly is going deeper with our key clients and our key distribution partners. Um, and looking to really bring, you asked me about distribution a moment ago, but bringing the, the capabilities and resources across all those lines of businesses is really important, uh, an important area for me to focus on alongside my team. Well, you have a lot of experience in, in the industry. So a lot of these acronyms are, they're not new to you, right? Um, we had, and, and then just uh, applying that sort of um, branding and messaging and marketing, like we talked about offline, I mean, you had, you know, Life Insurance Awareness Month in September, uh, Long-Term Care Awareness Month in November. Um, so where do, where are we, how are we getting our message out? What's the best way we should be getting our message out to really um, demonstrate the importance of, of these topics? I mean, again, not your first rodeo. So you're bringing a lot of experience in, you know the space. Um, what about our messaging though? Yeah, you know, first of all, let, let's just talk about who the messaging is going to and you know, there's a lot of demand out there. I don't think there's ever been a time, and we've all heard this, that the general public, people are interested in not just their mortality, but morbidity and all the things that go along. So that said, you've got a really ripe environment. And there's no question we'll continue to look at all the studies that come out. I mean, not just from LIMRA, but, you know, today people wish they would have bought insurance a long time ago. Sure when they were younger. So again, this awareness is there. But I think the key to all this, and, and this is not going to be rocket science, but we've got to continue to have the conversation. Whether you're an asset manager, whether you just sell insurance, whether you might be an RA, I mean, there's a lot of different folks that are visiting with clients today and professionals. And at the end of the day, you've got to have the conversation. And then acting on that conversation, easy to say, what are you doing about this? But then if you're not following up, and I just think it's the, 
being good stewards of the business as we all are, just a really critical and important uh, time and, and uh, thing to have right now. Well, that, that's, that's fantastic to hear. That's, that's, uh, we very much appreciate it. But all right, so let me just end on a, on a sort of a casual note. Uh, This is a tight knit industry, right? Um, I came into the space about four years ago. Everybody wants to know everything about everyone because it's all built on relationships. You could have the greatest widget in the world, but if distribution does not know you, they're not buying it. So let's, (laughs) let's give them a window into your background. We had a little conversation offline um, and you're, you're based in, no, you live in Colorado, correct? Correct. Yep. I've been in Colorado for the last uh, 20 plus years. I make it here with my family, right? Kids uh, who are all doing all the things that you're doing. Uh, So I find that to be a super important part. You know, I went to school in Arizona, grew up in California, but being here in Colorado, it's an amazing place, particularly if you live the lifestyle Um, and, you know, you're skiing, you're cycling, you do all those things, get out on the river and fish. Uh, So those are all important things to myself and my family. And uh, that's what keeps me here. And it's kind of the center of the universe too, right? We get a, It's easy to get to just about anywhere in the country from here. So uh, it's, a, it's a great spot and I don't plan on uh, leaving anytime soon. Well, it so- sounds like you're going to fit right in with some of those hobbies you mentioned. And, and I'm sure you know many, many of the distribution partners that we're talking about uh, who appreciate that. And of course, right, if I have this correct, for me, Denver is uh, west, but for California, Denver is not west, right? It's, it is very much central. So we people visiting you are not going west. They're going they're going to Middle America. Very true. Very true. <laughs> I, I always heard that people from California would say Denver's not west. <laughs> That's right. This is this this along with a few other states, as you all know, is one of the more popular states, and it is growing. Perhaps not at the pace everybody would like it to grow, but it's fast and yeah. people are just coming in here day in and day out. So, Mark, uh, thank you for joining Brokerage in Motion. Again, Senior Vice President, Head of Distribution, Individual Life and Financial Services uh, for One America.